All right, I'm back with this champion generator to bring everyone up to speed. In my last video, I swapped the carburetor, got it running, realized I didn't have any power output from the generator, which what good is a generator that doesn't have power output? So now in this video, I'm gonna open up the power head, take a look at things, try and figure out what's going on. So hopefully this helps you out. If you have a no power issue on your generator, here's some quick things to look at. If this video helps you, please shoot me a like. If you have a question, throw it in the comments, and here we go. All right, I'm going to try and take this rear cover off, take a look at the slip rings, see if they're dirty from being outside or wherever this thing was stored, just judging by the rust on this muffler. I'm thinking it was left outside, so maybe we remove the cover, take a look inside. Maybe we can clean something up and have an easy fix. Definitely noticing some rust on these terminals here. Not sure if you can see those slip rings, but they do look a little dirty. I'm going to clean them up as well as clean up some of these other connections real quick. So there might be our problem right there. One brush is out, one brush is stuck in. It should move freely like this. This one is not. All right, before I start cleaning the brushes, I remove the spark plug so that I can spin the engine over freely. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a green scrub pad in here and then spin this and that will be doing the scrubbing for me. And you just work in sections back and forth and spin again. That's what you're going for. Nice clean slip rings. Okay, now that the slip rings are cleaned, and I happen to have a replacement brush set in the garage, making sure that they are similar enough. This just has a thicker base, but the brushes seem to be in line with each other and the leads go in the same orientation. I'm just going to take an ohmmeter real quick and make sure that my brushes are making contact with the slip rings and everything is good. Okay. I have continuity. Not sure it's the number I want, but we're going to send it and see how it works. What's the worst that can happen? Okay, we're going to leave it like that and start it back up again. Okay, the voltage is a little high, but I can live with that. It's only five volts. I think we're going to go to the back, pull off the AVR, and see if we can adjust it. I realize this is probably more advanced than how the video started out. I apologize, but if you're going to get, attempt something like this, you're going to need a voltmeter hooked up, 
pull off your AVR, which is just two screws, and here's the pot that you're going to turn. You need a small screwdriver that's able to get in there and just turn this back and forth. I'm going to start it up. I'm going to make sure there's nothing around the spinning bolt here. And then I'm going to slowly adjust on that pot, watching my voltage. All right, ready to put it all back together. All right, that's gonna do it for this video. Another generator saved from the dump. Just a couple bucks, an investment into a carburetor and some brushes for the generator. And this thing is ready to go. If you like this video, please leave me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Thank you for watching.